Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I hope this works. It did. Uh, today we are playing Broken Sword, the Shadow of the Templars. As I picked up myself, I could all I could hear was the ceaseless drone of traffic. Life went on around me, but the explosion was to change my life forever. So this is one of the games of the book, A Thousand One Video Games, just play before you die. We're playing it here today, and my cursor is very blinky. I don't know if that's going to go away or not. Or... Ooh, the animations are very blinky, too. Here, hold on. Let me see. Freeze, hold it right there. Whoa, don't shoot. I'm innocent, dude. I'm an American. Can't make up your mind, huh? I demand to see the American counselor. I demand my rights. Drop your weapons and get down. Get down on the ground. Put that thing away, Sergeant Moy. I apologize, Monsieur. I cannot permit you to leave. Am I under arrest or something? Ah, no. I would simply like to ask you some questions. En avant to the cafe, Marsh. All right, I'm being rounded up by the Gestapo. Um, we'll deal with the the sprites in a second. This game is just nonstop. The bombing is out. Is an outrage. Stop that, monsieur. You're pointing at. Stop holding your breath at once. The animation's pretty good. Has it occurred to you that he may be dead, moi? Oh, monsieur, but I prefer not to look... I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. However, in this case, the man is quite dead. So probably, probably not that person. Clearly, the killer knew of this. How many times have I warned you about premature extrapolation? All we know is that he is dead. Seems reasonable to assume. Guys, you want me to go away? This seems like police work. Um, <laughs> it seems like I'm just sort of like leaning in on the, this conversation, which a civilian should have n no insight into. Uh, no more real than Para or Tintin. That's different, Bois. They were comedy Belgians. Anyway, it is unlikely that even you will learn much from talking to the dead. Okay. Examine the girl. Take her statement. If you can. Alright, he's off doing his thing. The animation is very smooth. Pretty interesting. It met metenant. Something something. Didn't catch the rest of that. Okay, finally he's talking to me. Yeah, I'm gonna see uh George Starbart. I'm from California, dude. And what brings you to Paris, Monsieur Stabart? Travel? I'm like touring Europe and stuff. You chose well. The city is most beautiful at this time of year, no? Except for all the cafe bombings. Yeah, I guess so, dude, apart from the bomb blasts. Were you in the vicinity of the cafe at the time of the explosion? I don't know if my accent's annoying, but I was sitting out on the sidewalk. Uh, I just feel like... Um, so there's obviously uh, two versions of this. One, you could have like the characters talking. I specifically got the version where I didn't have to listen to them talk, just so I could talk over them as... You know, frequently when we play these games, I want to actually talk. I'm going to try full screening this. Let's see if this makes a difference for the animations. Okay, things are still kind of blinky. But I think it's just the way the game is. I'm going to revert here. Bear with me for a moment, folks. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and the game crashed. Let's go back into it. Uh, okay, hold on, time out. And that's why you don't full screen a DOS box game in the middle of playing it. Um, oh shoot, we gotta do this again. Also, I guess we didn't get to see the opening where the bomb actually exploded. Try going in the cafe first this time, see what happens. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks like we want to bite her. Feast on her corpse. That little, like, mouth icon. Turns out we're half vampire. 
Uh, we'll save you. He's like, whoa, what happened? Oh, my head. Never again. How much vodka did I drink? Oh, she's Russian. Uh, I, I pff, couldn't even do that if I wanted. I'm like, what do Russians sound like? I kind of have it in my head, but I couldn't do it. She asked the question quite innocently. I like how I assume because she drinks vodka, she's Russian. Um, also, Viva Ukraine! Um, well, not Viva, what is it? Strava! Yeah, anyway, uh, pro Ukraine here. <laughs> this one, look. I feel like anytime you bring up Russians, you just have to mention, like, yeah, I, I, I'm against, you know, I'm not against the Russian civilians in the sense of, like, the individuals stuck in that horrible country, you know, but, uh, you know, down with Putin uh, and the entire Russian military complex. It's disgusting what they're doing over there. And Ukraine forever, baby. Anyway, um... Uh, I, <laughs> I, I could say more, but I feel like I'm just going to veer into some weird geopolitical context. And I mean, you guys know, you guys know, I just, anyway, um, okay. I, I actually missed what she said, so I'm going to give her a thumbs up. Yes, I studied under Dr. Benton. Who is he? One of the most brilliant medical minds on this planet. Okay, he taught me everything I know about medicine. Mm-hmm. Can you remember anything at all? Anything! Uh, no. I need a drink. Pour me a brandy. I will not. You could be in shock. No alcohol. Okay, you're the doctor. What about the old man? Is he dead? We oui, Dead as a doornail. I think he might be. I've never seen a real-life corpse before, except for Grand Maman. That was different. She was... Oh, it's her grandma. Jeez. Has he gone stiff? I shouldn't think so. He's only been dead a few minutes. Okay. So now we can do a spin. We can pretend to be an old man or put on a clown face. Let's go clown. Do you remember what happened to the clown when the clown entered? I remember that horrible tune he played all right. It was like a funeral dirge. I never, I never liked accordion music either. All right, let's continue talking about the clown. Did the clown speak to the old man? No, he just laughed at him. And he grabbed the old guy's briefcase and ran out the door. And he grabbed, okay. Talking about that. You know, this is very interesting. The dialogue is sort of through icons. It's quite interesting. The dialogue reminds me a bit of Fallout, how, like, you can have these conversations and go in different directions. I mean, many games have conversation trees, but never seen, like, a graphical representation of topics. It's interesting. Did you see what the old man had in his briefcase? No, he didn't open it. Keep talking about that briefcase. What did the old man do when the clown snatched his briefcase? Uh, nothing. He just sat there like he was frozen. I guess the one downside to having just the icons is you have no idea what you're going to say about the topics. I mean, I guess it's not really that good in the end, but it's interesting. Did the, did the old man try to stop the clown? Uh, oh, he didn't have a chance. The clown dropped his accordion and ran out the door. And that's all I can remember. Okay, and the old man. Did you know the old man? No, monsieur, I never saw him before. Tell me more about this old man. How did the old man behave? What do you know? Answer me. Looking at him at the door with his watch. He was waiting for someone, blah, blah, blah. And look about him like a guilty husband. Right, stay here, madame. I need to go do some twirls. You know, look around for evidence. I like how she's just, like, on board with me, like, doing this stuff, even though I'm definitely not a cop. But I'm going to do it anyway. Before those incompetent French officers show up. I tried uh, not to meet his stares. I searched the dead man's pockets. No wallet, no papers, no credit cards. The guy's pass was a blank page. If only I had some sort of identification database with state and federal records you know some somebody should invent that and then 
Maybe we should start a public service for those guys, like, investigate crimes or something. I don't know. Uh, pipe dream. I need a stiff drink, but I hated the taste of brandy. Now, I should say I'm playing this adventure game with no walkthrough. I know uh, traditionally when I play adventure games, I usually crack open a walkthrough just so we can make some progress. But I decided today to wing it. And actually, uh, this isn't a bad one to wing it for because it is a very, it's a point and click one. So if you can't click on anything in a room, you're kind of done in that room. So it does sort of feel like this will be one where we can, you know, get a little bit uh, uh, of progress done on ourselves. Um, I contemplated crawling under the umbrella pretending nothing has ever happened. Yeah. Uh, what do we got here? Consider climbing the lamppost, but it was, wasn't going to shed light. <laughs> the cops come over and I'm just like fully, like I've mounted him at the very top of the lamppost there. They're like, sir, what are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know. I thought it would help solve the crime somehow. I I'm clearly wrong. I don't know what the hell's going on. Go in the apartment buildings here. Um, anyway, so while we continue to explore the back alley of uh, 1990s France, or I don't know what year it is, I assume 1990s. Um, one thing that I wanted to kind of bring up on my channel, which I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but uh, I've been a little less regular with my video posts over the past couple of months. And uh, the, the truth of it is I've just become so busy in my... my uh, my work life, my family life. And then for those of you who kind of follow the other things I'm up to, you know, I'm working on my own game. I have uh, Metal Mercs. Um, so I have like, uh, you know, like a Discord, a Patreon, I'm doing updates and all sorts of stuff for that. So um, that's been taking a lot of my time and attention. So yeah, I don't know. Nobody's commented, so I think everyone's okay with it. But it's just something like I kind of felt bad about. And because traditionally I've been doing at least two videos a week, usually a third one on Saturdays. And the way my channel has functioned is uh, two of the three videos are usually thousand and one related videos, and we do like an off the books one where uh, you know we play some other retro game because sometimes the book doesn't stick to retro, and I always like playing these retro games. Um, but my life has gotten so busy, I've basically stopped doing the Saturday videos, and I've just been trying to pump out two thousand and one videos a week, and even at that, I haven't been like totally keeping up with it, so. So yeah, for all you fans out there who do enjoy these videos, um, I'm aware that my uh, output is uh, shakier these days. I don't have any plans to stop, but uh, basically bear with me as I go through like a little busy phase of my life. Uh, nothing lasts forever, but uh, I think especially these days, uh, I have gotten really into developing my own game. And, and truthfully, that is, I mean, besides my family and, and my work life, which have gotten busier, that's another thing that's gotten, like, uh, you know, that, that uh, wrestles for my time, I guess I could say. Um, and I really like doing it, you know. It's not like a chore or anything. Like, I, I really do. I wish I... <laughs> I wish there were uh, 48 hours in a day or I had a clone or something because it's like there's just so much I want to do every day. And... Uh, you know, so sometimes when you get really busy, not everything stays on track. But anyway, I don't know if you have noticed, as I say, don't worry about it. We're still in business. But uh, yeah, anyway, on to the uh, on to the cops here. You're late to the scene, boys. I've already investigated this. This is like a, a French version of Law and Order. We need. Uh, oh, God, what's the guy's name? Lenny, the the old guy, the dad from uh, oh my God, what's the name of that that movie now with? <laughs> and what's the name of the guy who's in the movie? We've gotten out a chain of what's that? Oh my God, Patrick Swayze, Dirty Dancing, the dad of Baby, is Lenny from Law and Order, the old Law and Orders. I I know they're on like Law and Order XVU or whatever, you know, Law and Order, COVID special. Um, every single actor has been replaced. I think McCoy is now, like, the DA or something like that. But, um... Anyway, um, they're asking me about the old man. Anyway, this is like a law and order in, in France. We'll pay more... Let's start paying more attention to the game now, uh, as we were before. Um, so did you see anyone else come into the cafe? 
I saw a clown. He was carrying an accordion. We'll be honest with the cops. The picture is forming in my mind. I'm seeing a clown holding... I lost it. Is the girl all right? She's a, she'll live. She confirms the doctor's statement. Oh, I actually am a doctor. <laughs> I thought I was lying. Uh... Oh, bien, I've heard enough. What do you mean? I am satisfied that you know nothing. Enjoy your vacation, Dr. Stobart. What about my personal safety? Can you at least give me some advice? They had a cafe that are about to blow up, you idiot. Look out for suspicious characters. Don't cross the road until the little man chose green. Trust no one. Honestly, I believe you're in no danger, monsieur. Should you remember anything of importance, please contact me, my card. All right, thank you. Thanks. Uh, that is all. You may go. All right. There's not much going on, monsieur. On the surface, no, but what lurks inside the subconscious. If that door can only be opened. Are you serious, monsieur? I thought you your interest in psychic detection was purely academic. Demic, we're about to uh, witness a scientific breakthrough. Oh my god, he does think he's psychic. <laughs> Alright, who's this? Hello? Excuse me, madam mademoiselle? French is the second language of Canada, guys. I took like four years of it in school. I barely pronounce these words. An American by the sounds of it. Yes, that's right. On holiday. Oh, wait, I'm Californian, right? Some holiday, huh? You were here when the bomb went off. Sure was. Sat right up front of this cafe. Did you notice a uh, middle-aged man? I want to get, I want my guy to get interviewed by the news so someone can auto-tune me into like a catchy song. I was like at the cafe and then it was like, and I was like, whoa. And then I was like, let's get out of here, dude. Auto-tune that and make it into like a News Brothers song or whatever. The sad thing is that I thought that as I was saying it, I'm like, this is a timely reference, auto-tuning the news. That's like a 10-year-old phenomena. Does anyone even do that anymore? Does the news even air? I don't even think cable exists. I think it's all just turned into streaming services. Like, if you want to watch the news, you go on Disney Plus and you choose the year that you're interested in. Like, oh, I feel like watching, like, September 24th, 1991, and put it on, and that's your news for the evening. Get caught up on uh, the 90s news. Um, real life drama, human interest, that kind of stuff. Stick to the facts, thank you. So she's a reporter, and we're, we're search- I, I'm getting the feeling we're searching for a clown. Which kind of makes me be like, is it the Joker? Because she was like, oh god, not that freak. You've met this clown before. It's a long story. We used to date. His name was Terry. He was really good at balloons. You know the police officer called Rosso? Our paths have a knack for crossing. I didn't know better. I'd say it was deliberate. Almost like every crime scene I photograph, there's a cop or something at it. Odd. He's inside attempting to question a witness on psychic powers. What? That guy's weird. Tell me more about these psychic powers. Didn't blink when I told him about the clown, as if he already knew. Typical of a cold fish like Rosso. I've seen cheeseburgers with more spunk. Oh, I hope you're not eating cheeseburgers with spunk. <laughs> TMI! You speak very good English for a French girl. Thanks, you speak very good English for an American. hi -yo! <laughs> Nice one. Who is the guy you were supposed to meet? His name was Plantard. I didn't know him, but he called me last night. He said he had a story that would interest me. He asked me to meet him at the cafe. I guess I'll never know what he wanted to tell me. Not unless you have Rosso's gift for psychic interrogation. Why won't you tell me about this clown? Why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me. Isn't that reason enough? Maybe I'm Batman. What if the twist in this game is that you're Batman? You're hunting the Joker. I like how the, the detective is just listening at the doorway. I just noticed him there. 
he's like, man, this guy's good. He's asking really good questions. I should take notes or something. Uh, this is strictly business. Oh, we're going to end up banging. You know where this is going. See you soon. Don't like when she leaves, but I love to watch her walk away. <laughs> this just in, Jay forced to attend mandatory sensitivity training by YouTube. Uh, okay, let's see what this detective has to say. <clears throat> There's a guy, like, whipping someone over there. Did you see that? Or wait, is it a guy? Yeah, look. Oh, no, wait, it's a pickaxe. Excuse me, Sergeant. You heard the inspector. Go home, monsieur. Did you find the victim's briefcase? No, sir. Uh, until he countermands those orders or backup arrives, I stay here. I really did see the clown. He ran into the alley across... Oh, he did. I lost him. How many kilometers of sewers are beneath this city? Um, okay, so we can go underground, probably. I was one of the last people to see the victim alive, Sergeant. Does that worry you? Yes, it does. I kind of feel I owe it to him to find his killer. Batman. He could tell you anything? No, he just grinned and nodded. Don't let it trouble you. Did you and Rasa arrive at the scene of the explosion so quickly? You arrived within minutes. Victor Rasa's sources are a perpetual mystery to me, monsieur. There are some who say he has made a pact with the devil. What do you think? He is the devil. Oh, dear God. Why are his eyes misaligned in the icon? He's giving her the once-over, as you Americans say. What? Once he gets his teeth into a case, nothing will shake him off. Is he, like, beating her for answers in there? Mr. Rosso is a pioneer and a visionary. Revolutionary method, once perfected, may change the face of law enforcement forever. How's the identity of the dead guy? Is that so? You knew him, did you? No, but... Well, we'll know everything once there is to know about him soon enough. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Do a little spin and I'll get that laddie. All right, across the street, they said. Go check that alley. See what we got going on. I'm kind of zoning out to the blinky sprites and stuff. I, I guess it's probably annoying if you guys are still noticing it. I don't know why it's doing that. The animation for this game is pretty cool for its era, I think. I mean, clearly the guy went down here. I think it's obvious. Um, too hot, heavy and awkward to lift with bare hands. Okay, we gotta go to that construction site and talk that guy out of his pickaxe. You're ready to put on the charm, Jay. Hey, Bernard. Nice pickaxe. It would, uh, could they borrow it? I don't, I don't know what our in is here, but talk to him and see what we come up with. Can you spare a few minutes? Thought you'd been arrested. No, no, no. Mis totally misunderstanding. It's nothing. Uh, when you pulled that gun, I thought that was it. Those automatics packed quite a punch. He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. He was only doing his duty, I guess. Talking about clowns, old man. What do you know about them? Clown? Like in a circus? Yeah, with makeup and a big red nose. And a bomb! Those are funny, aren't they? Bums are never funny. I love the circus, especially the horses. You haven't answered my questions. Talk, old man! Or I pump your guts full of lead. We've got time to watch every passerby. Some of us have work for a living. You had digging holes in the street until you retire. Some career. I know you're busy, but uh, have you noticed a clown? I already told you I didn't see a thing. He's wearing multicolored baggy trousers and makeup. That'd be a poor sort of clown if he didn't. Tell me about the clown! I have to find him, he's a killer! This who, anyway? Are you even a cop? What's happening? No, of course not. Do I look like a cop? I guess not. How do I know this guy's a killer? Did you see him in action? Shut up and tell me about the clown! He blew up a cafe! I wonder what that bang was. Anybody? Shut up and tell me about the clown, old man! I know you know who he is! What about the waitress, man? He's fine. Tell me about the clown. Thank the saints. Oh, I wish there was one more clown. I'm just like harassing this old man about the clown. 
we got to embellish the the odd the the voices a bit i feel guys just to you know really capture the essence of what's happening here we're abusing an an old public servant who's just trying to do his job um okay i missed that whole thing because i was talking but did you recognize the old man no should i have done was he a celebrity no i guess he's now blah 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 Regret and remorse are strange emotions. Oh, and I missed the rest of that. All right. Thanks for nothing, you old bag. I gotta go. Let me keep you. The guy's like, what a... The guy's like, what a psycho. Really locked door. There's something we can get in here. Hey, stop. Get away from there. What do you think you're doing? I was admiring your toolbox. Had a good look, have ya? I'm warning you, if you touch it, I'll crack your nut. <laughs> crack your nuts. Crack him in half. Okay, I think we gotta get something to distract this guy. This is my, my only play right now. We need... What distracts an old man? An even older man! Alright, so... We need to find... Uh, where are we? <laughs> We're here, I think. Can we go here? Uh, can we go here? Can we go to the police station? Can we go here? These these are just landmarks. Okay, so you, you can't go to them at all. Right, let's go to the police station. Hey, it's that guy. Hello? Oh, and there's a fan. That's kind of cool. A little animation. Excuse me. Not so fast. I'd like your personal details, please. Oh, what for? In the event of an accident, it would help us to know where to send the body. Um, all right, let's talk to Rosso. May I see Inspector Rosso? He's not here, but do you wish to leave a message for him? I have a choice of blue and black pen. Recommend blue for the less formal communication. I prefer to talk to him in person. I wish, monsieur. A Sergeant Moi available. What? Why do you want to speak to him? Uh, I cannot recall the last time someone asked to speak to Moa. No one ever speaks to him, not even his kids. Okay. Uh, how about the clown? You heard any reports concerning a suspicious clown? There was a fracas only this morning. Three arrests for public disorder. There was a clown involved. A clown and a particularly offensive piece of sculpture with balloons. Anyway, you involved with the rep reprobate, monsieur? No, not me. You know anything about Rosso's psychic techniques? Can I confirm on my superior's methods? All I will say is that Inspector Rosso has an impressive record, and he attends every psychic convention that comes through France. He's really good at reading crystals. He's a man of honor with a fine sense of duty. He was a screwball. Not to his face, monsieur. I would never say that. Take a look at this. Inspector Rosso's personal card. Where did you get this? He gave it to me. Why? Because we're good friends. He was impressed with my powers of observation. He asked me to contact him. I see. You are a grass. Okay. Alright, so nothing that we can really do around here. Right. Oh, there's something over here. Gears. Gears are turning. Grab those phones and make a phone call. Let's prank the, uh... The sergeant. Paul Collard. Oh, here we go. Bonjour, Collard. Oh, hi. It's George Staubart, the American, at the cafe. Ah, we. Oui. You said a call if I could help. Have you any news for me? Have, well, I haven't had a lot of luck. So you found nothing. Well, no. Look, I'm very busy right now. Call me if you have any news, okay? Okay, yeah, I guess. Adios, monsieur. See you. Well, that was a pointless conversation, but that was kind of fun. This really does take me back to old Sierra games. Like, I'm kind of getting into it now, actually. Um, I appreciate that it's point and click, so, I mean, really, we're stuck already. <laughs> we need to figure out some way to distract this old codger. Gotta be something we can do. What is this down thing? What does that do? Hey, don't touch that phone. 
story. All right. We have to somehow distract him. Let's see if there's anything else we can click. There was a cat I let out of a garbage. I don't know where he, he went. The straightening table, not to disturb the evidence. Anything else? We, oh, look, there's something over here. Something we missed. This. Oh, it's a newspaper. Leading article referred to the visit of Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. It's the only news story. The rest is rumor, gossip, and sensationalism. Then I noticed writing at the f putting on the page. Salah Eddin 3045, something like that. Aha, uh -huh. so there was something to pick up. Anything else? I like how you can hear birds and stuff too. Consider straightening the table if you're not to disturb the evidence. Okay, nothing else, nothing else, nothing else. Just hop in the window here. Okay. Go this way. Okay, nothing. I'm gonna pop in this alley one more time. I've got that newspaper. I think I could try to call the girl. Anything here that I'm missing? I don't think so. There's just the only thing you can really interact with are these garbage cans and the sewer. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, we need a tool for the sewer. Anything? Nothing. Okay. We got to get that tool. Um, there was something else here, too. I think this is the... I wish when you hovered over something, a little, like, text thing showed you what you were hovering over. Because often I don't even know what I'm hovering over. But I've... Okay, yeah, I've clicked on those two things. Okay, and also I wish this guy ran a little faster. They're just walking. Although he does move pretty quickly. Get out of here. Nothing to click on. Besides the things near the construction guy. Okay, I'm going to go to the police station and call the lady again. Because now I actually found something. Let's see if this is enough. Okay. It's me, George Stavart. Okay, that uh, did absolutely nothing. Um, maybe I could ask him where the address is. Blah, blah, blah. What do you make of this newspaper? The story about a Nobel Prize winner somewhere I can't pronounce. That's a mystery to me. Damn it. Thanks for your help, officer. Nothing else to click. I'm truly stumped. We're on, like, screen three. See, this is what happens with adventure games, I find, which is why, as much as I kind of, like, like the idea of, like, going through these stories, kind of, like, living through a story, it's, like, uh, at the same time, a lot of it is just, like, absolutely just clicking on things until something you hope works. It's a lot of trial and error, and I don't get, like, a huge sense of accomplishment from these as much. Um... Blah, blah, blah. Have me drift on the stop having to eat. Take newspaper and quit complaining. Oh, wait. I'm giving him a break. Damn bleeding heart liberals. Save the dolphins. Cash them and eat them, I say. I'll fuss over a bunch of fish. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Oh, maybe the solid day is a, a racehorse or something. Do me a favor, won't you keep an eye on my hole? I'll have to put some money on that nag. What about your toolbox? Stuff it. Help yourself. Aha, we did it. But see, like, I didn't get a huge sense of accomplishment from that because it just felt like, oh, this happens to go. It, it's not like the guy was like, man, I wish I could take a break or something like that, you know? Like, there was no clue that you had to give him the newspaper. Thing for lifting manhole covers. 
Um, Saladin. So I think that's a racehorse. Talk to Nicole again. Uh, okay. <laughs> Still nothing. <laughs> See, I don't even know if I have any news to tell her, right? She's like, any news? I'm like, I don't know. Let's see what my guy says. Let's see what George Stobart says. Because Jay, the actual player, who is an omniscient observer of everything that's happening, has no idea what's going on. I'm, I'm glad my, my character is on, on board now. All right, so we took a tool to open a manhole cover. What did I take? A Phillips head screwdriver? Um, or did I take... Oh, there's like an actual manhole opener tool. Interesting. Whoa. I mean, that is an actual tool. So I, I thought they were just going to be like, oh, it's a hammer. Clink, 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 and off you went. All right, let's follow the clown into the sewer. Surely this is not a job for the police. I'll just do it myself. I feel like if you try to investigate a crime, you get in trouble from the cops. Like, if this actually happened, if, uh, if a witness to a crime just went rogue and started investigating, the cops would figure out what you're doing and be like, stop. <laughs> Not that it... Mostly because you probably would interfere with the uh, investigation, you know? Because you're not professional and your odds of actually helping are very low. Well, we got a red nose. But literally the only thing we've got going on is this sewer. Oh, we can go down this way. I was gonna say, all this way for just a red nose, huh? Sewers of Paris look like some sort of gothic castle. Jeez, look at this. Crazy. Pick up this, whatever it is. Uh, scoop the sodden tissue. Disgusting. What's this? Clown underpants. Interesting. Scrap of material. He must have snagged his undies on his... <laughs> on this pole as he was scuttling up to the surface. Huh. Hi there. Hold it right there, you sewer rat. I knew you'd come back. Now I've got you. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're trespassing. Come out here immediately. That's what I'm trying to do. Give me your hand. Well, you won't catch me with tricks like that. What does he think? I am some kind of like are there people who dwell in the sewer in France so that it's like not alarming that someone's coming out of the sewer They're like we got another sewer rat get the spray we'll p force him down into the hole and seal off the sewer again Okay, let's talk to him about clowns and Two guys hugging and a phone. Let's do the clown first. I was looking for a clown Ridiculous you expect me to believe that? Planted a bomb in the cafe and blew it up. What? The cafe blown up? Mon dieu, that's awful. Uh, and you say the person responsible is dressed as a clown? That's right. He blew up the cafe, escaped from the sewer, changed his clothes, snagged his underpants on a pole, and came up here. Mon dieu! The man I chased. Do you think that man and the clown are... Gasp. One and the same? It had crossed my mind. That still doesn't explain what you were doing down there in the sewer. For all I know, you're in league with this clown man. No, I'm just a tourist. I'm on vacation. I have a <laughs> I have a bus tour at six I'm trying to make, actually. If I could solve this crime before then, that'd be great. Didn't realize my waste pipes were such an attraction. Um show him this. You recognize this material? I'm not telling you anything. What does this tissue mean to you? What does this used tissue mean? It's disgusting. Why on earth would you show that to me? Ew, why? Seriously. Take a look at this false nose. It's like Cinderella. Whoever the nose fits on is the clown, so you go around testing it on people's nose. Um. Thank the heavens. Poor girl like her isn't safe with the likes of you roaming the streets. Can't you understand? I'm not just a gangster. I'm an American. From America. I love my country. I'm here to help you. Handling some Neil Breen there. Does the name Plantard start it with anything to you? The man was killed in a cafe. Gonna find the guy who's responsible. 
find him even if it means following him down every dirty sewer hole in every dirty city of Europe. Need some sensible boots. <laughs> you won't go far with those stupid sneakers. I mean, that's, that's the reasonable advice. Thank you, sir. Tell me about the man you apprehended. But as there to tell, he was a typical criminal just like you. Was he carrying a briefcase? No, I didn't notice. I did not notice that. It's like a pretty big thing to have. Um, so he wants me to leave or he's going to call the cops. I have to be going. I'll let you out. All right. Well, we got some information. Be off with you. All right. I think we can now call. I think that's why there's a phone here. So we can call, um... Ezreal, whatever her name is, I forget. Kala Colette. Kalar uh, Kalard. <laughs> Me, George. Any news? No, how about you? No, nothing. Well, we just got some some information. Well now what? <laughs> I truly have no idea. Truly I ha now I have no idea where to go. Did anything unlock? No. Okay, let's try going to the police station. Um, I'm going to talk to this guy a little bit. Maybe we have some new things that we can uh, discuss. Let's see. Hi there. Bonjour. Uh, Monsieur Hardy. Um, look at this. Scrap of material. Probably torn from the clothes of a psychotic clown. Even if you were Sherlock Holmes, you'd have trouble believing you. Okay. Thanks for your help, officer. Okay. Let's check the cafe again, I guess. And then back into the sewer? Like, what would it be? Maybe there's like an extra tool I need. Uh, nope. All, all I need in life is a manhole cover opener. The rest of the, you That's really a jack-of-all-trades tool. It really does it all. Um, what happens if I go through the sewer one more time? <laughs> He's going to be like, Sacre bleu, not you again! Stop coming out of the sewer! We really need to seal this thing off. Down we go. We should find a ninja turtle or something. They would help us. Where's Raphael? Checking if there's anything to click on, I see nothing. Literally nothing. Go down there. I wish I could go up there. Like, look, these sewers are very impressive, I will say. Also, I like how in video games and movies and stuff, sewers tend to be just, it's just a bunch of running water underground. It's not, uh, not actual sewage. You don't see too many sewers in video games that depict real sewers of, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Waste. We got something here. All right, let's climb our way out of here. Maybe that guy's gone. Oh, he is. He totally is. Sweet. Okay. Um, an old stained urinal. Ugh. Start investigating things. Door was locked. We go in here. Like how I knocked on an op a closed door. How could I forget the man with the sewer obsession? Um, I have nothing to say. I have to be going. Adios, monsieur. Like how this time he doesn't actually want to arrest me. I have no idea where to go. No idea what to do next. I feel like this is par for course with how adventure games go for me. I think that means it's a good time to wrap up for today. This has been... Uh... What is the name of this game? Uh, hold on. Hold on, let me see here. 
This is, I was gonna say like thunderclap. Am I playing Broken Sword Shadow of the Templar? One of the games of the book, a thousand of video games, just play before you die. You solve the crime of a murdered cl uh, 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 clown murderer who killed an old man in France. Um, it, it definitely, so it definitely reminds me of the old Sierra games. Um, I do sort of like the concept of adventure games and stuff, and it is kind of interesting to have to go through and solve, uh, interact with people and solve things. I guess the one, the one complaint I've had since I was a child with all adventure games is there is only usually one path, one solution that you have to take. And how I've always thought of adventure games is they're kind of like attempts to make holodeck, uh, like hollow novels or whatever. Like in Star Trek The Next Generation, they go in the holodeck and play like, you know, uh, uh, what is it? Like the, the detective that Picard loved, Dixon Hill. They play like a Dixon Hill adventure. And in that adventure, like a problem arises and Dixon Hill has to solve it. And what I liked about sort of the Star Trek take on adventure games is like, there's kind of some goal you have to accomplish, but it, precisely how you accomplish it, there's wiggle room. And I feel like with a lot of these adventure games, um, they're very linear, actually, behind the scenes. So they're, they're like a novel or a story, and that's fine, you know, like you go through and try and figure out how to solve the puzzles. But I personally have always yearned for an adventure game that was more sophisticated, more complex. It basically said, like, you have to open a manhole sewer. There's multiple ways you can do it. You can, like, steal a tool. You can talk the guy into giving you the tool. You can go to a store and buy the tool. You can make a phone call that says that there's a gas leak and then the city comes and opens it. You know what I mean? Like, like just in the real world, like, if you went outside and you needed a manhole cover opened and you had limited time, think creatively, what are the, the like, 50 ways you could open that hole? Now, I understand that it would be very difficult to program a game that actually was sophisticated enough to do all that, but I feel like one day that will exist. Um, and it's sort of like playing an RPG. And now it's actually making me think of ChatGPT. Maybe that's the solution, right? Because in ChatGPT, you could say like, I want to open a manhole cover. And if ChatGPT was acting as like the GM or the DM, like the dungeon master of the adventure, it could, if you could propose ways to get it open and it could tell you if they succeed or fail. So I guess basically what I'm talking about is just playing an RPG, but one that is as beautifully crafted as some of these adventure games. So there's my long-winded rant on uh, what I want, what I personally would love to see out of the adventure genre. As far as the game that is before us, the animations are pretty impressive actually for an older DOS game. Uh, the style's kind of interesting. The story seems somewhat interesting. My major complaint, which is not a dig at this game in particular, but probably more the adventure genre, is just the where the F do I go element of it. Like, I, I truly don't know what else I need to click on. Like, like it is it is pretty crazy. In a, in a game where all you have to do is click on things, it's crazy that we're now stuck. Because <laughs> it's like, there's just one thing we have to click on, and we haven't figured it out. Uh, I truly do not know. So uh, anyway, those those are my those are my thoughts on it. What do you guys think of this game? Is this a game that you played back in the day? Oh wait, um, the man down the street in the sewer, crawling out of the sewer, dressed as a clown. No, he changed clothes. So how do you know he's a clown? He didn't, but all the clues add up. Little children can add up, but I wouldn't let them manage my bank account. Yeah, so he doesn't want to hear my my evidence. Anyway, is this a game that you played back in the day? How do you get past this part? Tell me. Somebody tell me. Um, but also, um, you know, what are your memories of this game? Um, like, did you enjoy it? Did you spend uh, days after school trying to solve it with your brother? And did, were there friends playing in school? And you had to make notes and figure out how to pass certain parts and trade tips and stuff? I don't know. Uh, just share your, your thoughts and your memories on this game down below. And as always, guys, I hope you did enjoy yourselves. And actually, before I wrap up... Sorry, I have my book here. It's just buried under stuff. I'm going to grab it out real quickly. And I actually... Now that, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, why was this game included? Like, why did the 1001 authors include this game? I think we know by now that in the 1001 book... 
the answer to why this game was included was one of the contributors liked this game. Um, and it's that's literally it. Uh, sometimes sometimes they uh, they go a little more sophisticated than that. Page two ninety two. I just want to see like what sort of groundbreaking thing did this game include? And here's my prediction: smooth animations and maybe like an interesting story. So let's see. Broken Sword: The Shadows of the Templar. Staying, uh, straying from tongue-in-cheek Lucas Arts heritage of the point-and-click genre, Revolution Studios fabricates a tangible world of mystery rooted in historical fact with the Broken Sword video games. Uh, everyman protagonist George Staubart, uh, yes, the uh, the everyman, just a typical California doctor traveling the world with uh, no care for fine. It, it's funny how like in the nineties, it's like yeah, that's just like everyone, like that is. Uh, now that's like the upper upper class um physical travels of Starbar and journalist uh, Nico Collard is the race to solve a murder shroud and conspiracy underpins the title's other main draw its locales the interactive backdrop of Broken Sword create an intricate sense of place and the lure of the unknown the Paris opening most layered and it most layered and attractive a wash with autumnal hues that's the bar blah 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 High level production value limited to the visuals, television, and the film composer Barrington, blah, 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 scores it. More than a puzzle quest for answers, Broken Sword is a key example of informed and grossing virtual tourism to be filled alongside the likes of Mist. Visually stimulating in motion and rewarding in practice. Yeah, I guess at one time, maybe. Nowadays, it's a fine looking game, reasonable. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, what do you guys think of the book there? Was it right? Was it wrong? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, guys, it's been fun messing around with this with you. If you have liked the video, liked it, and subscribe, and blah, 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 blah. I'm off to program Metal Mercs. I'll see you guys later. Peace.